It is three more ramen, you sons of bitches. All right, here we have Seabura Tonkatsu. Uh, tonkatsu ramen I really enjoy because it's like kind of, it's got that nice uh, fattiness, but apparently this is even more fatty because it has extra Seabura, which is pork back fat. Okay, uh, it's got sesame, mincemeat, woody ear, mushroom, green onion, and red ginger. Well, that sounds pretty dope. Let's try this out. Okay, it's savory, it's meaty. Um, let's try the broth. It's got a little bit of a funkiness to it, um, but it is very, very like um, fatty, porky kind of flavor. Um, the noodles are just kind of whatever, but the broth definitely has that nice pork flavor. And there's little chunks of meat in here that are worryingly soft. I don't like this as much as other tonkatsu instant ramens I've had. Uh, and maybe it's because of the extra fat. Maybe it is a little too much. Um, it's pretty good, but it has a little funkiness to it that I think is because of, maybe it's like pork overload or pork overload. You can see the broth kind of clear with a milky sort of um, broth, um, little chunks of meat, some sesame seeds. So it's not one of my favorite tonkatsu ramens, but it's not bad. It's not bad. A um, little funky, but these. All right, here's ramen number two, and this time it's a new spicy Botox flavor, which is always exciting. Um, this is the carbonara flavor. Um, I like carbonara in general, and I guess this is probably slightly cheesy, slightly buttery. I'm very curious as to how it's gonna to translate to boot dog. Um, but let's, let's try it out, I'm excited. All right, here it is. It's uh, kind of an orange color. I'm gonna predict that this is not as spicy as other ones. Um, it smells very, very cheesy, and maybe this one will actually taste like cheese, because the cheese one doesn't really taste like cheese. Um, let's try it out, it smells really good. This is very good really cheesy. Like, I think they realized that the cheese one was not that cheesy, and we're like, let's make one super cheesy. It's cheesy, it's got a, like, tangy sweetness to it, so it still has that spicy chicken brutak flavor. I don't know if it's chicken, but spicy, sweet flavor, but mixed with a very nice cheesiness. Um, very rich and sort of creamy. It definitely has heat. Like, if you can't handle a spicy brutak, um, this is still pretty spicy, but, Definitely not as spicy as some of the other flavors. Um, probably one of the less spicy of the bunch, but it's really good. This might be my favorite, at least one of my favorites of the whole the whole bunch. It's almost like a like Kraft macaroni and cheese version of uh, Butak Bokumyun. I don't know if there's tomato in here, but it almost has that kind of reminds me of like almost like a pizza, but not not like super tomatoey, but just the idea of that cheese combined with a sweetness. Yeah, you can take a closer look, see how orange those noodles are. And you got little flecks of herbs in there. Good shit. All right, and finally, here is chicken dashi udon. Uh, this is a udon with uh, low sodium, which I don't care about, but I guess that's good, because I mean, usually instant ramen is salty uh, as fuck. It also contains GABA, which helps lower the blood pressure. I don't know what GABA is, but it, I guess it lowers your, lowers your blood pressure, reduces your stress, and makes you relaxed. Sounds like a drug of some kind, but I guess we'll find out. <sighs> the noodles are actually pretty nice quality. Um, they have a nice chew to them. I guess that's because they're udon, but you know, instant udon, it's not always good, but this is actually pretty good. But this definitely tastes like a diet ramen. It is very muted in flavor. Um, it doesn't taste bad. It tastes fine, but... And I know that a lot of instant ramen can be overly salty, but I think with this, it just is lacking a bit in flavor. It's lightly savory, very lightly savory. Um, if you did have problems with, like, sodium, then yeah, this would actually be a pretty nice substitute because it does have a pretty decent flavor. But as someone who doesn't really have sodium issues, it just kind of tastes like a uh, muted version. Let's try the broth. It's not bad though. Just subtle, very subtle. It has a good flavor, but it is muted. Here you can see the inside, like a brownish broth, little pieces of, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure, actually. It's like 
I want to say like some kind of like soft breading or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not even really sure how healthy this is because I can't read Japanese. As a low sodium substitute, um, you know, it's not bad. There's no way it's going to be as flavorful as some other ramens, but it's decent just if you're prepared for that, then it's fine. It's just kind of a muted flavor. All right, that was three ramen. Bye.